in a cold, cold sweat. Gotta be cool, I relax, I get it. How's it going folks, this is where you know about another lesson and an amazing song today as always looking at Queen and Crazy Little Thing Called Love, one of my favourite Queen songs this and it's sort of Freddie doing his Elvis moment, uh, absolutely love this song. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a beginner song, it has got a sort of a bar chord in it, uh, but it's a great fun one to learn and if you're just getting into bar chords, you know, maybe this will be, you know, the ideal song, it's just got one bar chord in. Going to show you the little bass riff as well. Uh, now, if you do want the chords, lyrics and the strumming pattern to this, as always, I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page, there'll be a link to that in the comments, I'll also put a link in the description. And the way that that works, you just click on the link, sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month or however much you want to pledge, it's up to you, it's all very much appreciated. And once you've done that, it gives you guys access to the chords, lyrics and strumming patterns to everything I've done pretty much over the past sort of 20 months, so there's a lot of stuff up there now. There's some exclusive videos, there's videos there from the archive, and there's also stuff to coincide with, you know, a lot of the technique lessons I've done, if you're into the scales and the blue stuff that I do occasionally. So it's all up there, what you're waiting for, link in the comments, link in the description. If you don't want to do that and you'd like to show some appreciation, I've got a new feature which is like a super thanks link that's just under the video there. You can click on that and make a small donation again. Very much appreciated. Uh, thanks for your continued support. Thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so. Now, if you are subscribed and you haven't done already, a further way you could help me out is hitting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there so you can keep up to date with the videos. And if you want to, please go over and give me a like on social media. So I'm Wayne Argiton on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now also TikTok, as you always say, I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning. Uh, now for the intro, you're going to want a D chord, but we're going to go into a D sus4. So that's just taking the D chord and just adding your little pinky on the third fret and the top E string, sort of on and off there. So what we get is this. Okay, now a strumming pattern I do around that would be sort of a down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So that's a. So if you hear that around that chord, we get. Okay, so that's going to be the intro. So uh, when we get into the verse, the chords to the verse are going to be a D. Then we go to a G. I personally like to use the four fingered G. We go to a C, back to the G again. Then the next line we go D, G, C, back to the G. The last line we're going to go D, B flat. That's where your bar chord comes in. I do that off the A string root. Uh, we go C, and then a D, and then we do a little stop, and then we go into another verse. So I'm just going to sing that through so you can see how that gels together. So what we got is this thing. For love, I just I can't handle it. This thing. So the strumming pattern I use pretty much throughout the song, other than that intro, will be a down, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's a down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? So I'll play that through verse 2 so you can see how that strumming pattern works. So uh, verse 2 is uh, exactly the same chords as verse 1, so we've got this thing. Jellyfish, I kind of like it. Crazy little thing, cool. Okay, so that's going to be uh, your chords to your verse. Now the chorus, uh, so a bit more complicated. I'm going to show you that little bass line, which is really cool. So we start off with the first line. We're going to go with G, C, then back to the G again, and then it's going to go B flat, and then there's a quick change from an E into an A. 
and I do an F major 7. You can do a bar F, you can do the standard F major 7. But the one that I use is the F major 7 with a C bass in. So if you've never seen that before, take your regular F major 7, move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret and the A string, little pinky will go 3rd fret and the D. Okay, and that's going to take us up to where that little bass uh, riff comes in. So I'm just going to sing that up to that point so you can see how that gels together. So we got, there goes my baby. Cold, cold sweat. So you can see there's quite a quick change from that E to the A straight into the F there, okay? And that gives us this little bass line then, which I think it's really cool to add this in. It's easy to play. So on the A string, you're going to go 5, 4, 3, and you're also going to do the same on the low E string. So 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 3, and then you're going to strum an E chord, and then the little bass line that takes you back into the verse again. So it's going to be two open A strings, naught, naught, E string, low E string, three, two, naught. Okay, so from that little bass line, after that little start with the F, it's going to go E chord. And that takes us into uh, verse three. So what we got, you got to be cool, relax. Okay, so now we've got the guitar solo, so the chords that that goes over, it's going to be the B flat, then we're going to go to a D, we're going to return to the B flat, and then it's that little run like we do in the chorus, where it's going to go E, A, F, and then we can put that little bass line in again. Okay, so I'm just going to sing that through, well, sort of sing the solo through so you can see how that sort of gels with the chords. So we got... Okay, so then we got verse four. Now this is the a cappella bit. So this is a bit where there's no guitars. You gotta be cool, relax. I get hit. I get on my tracks. Take a back seat. Hitchhike. Take a long ride on my motorbike until I'm ready. Crazy little thing called love. Okay, and then you got the last verse, which is exactly the same again. So we got this thing. So B flat, C, D, raise a little thing called love. And that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug that. Uh, and as I always say, come on, if you don't like that song, you don't like music. That's probably up there, one of my favourite Queen songs, that, and a great fun one to play. Uh, I was never a massive Queen fan, but uh, obviously, you know, Freddie Mercury is probably the best frontman of all time. I completely get that. And if you haven't seen the film Bohemian Rhapsody, you know, it proves what a great band Queen were, you know, such a bunch of sort of misfits that just wrote great music. So uh, come on, there you go. Now, if you have got any requests for any other Queen songs, I have done one or two if you want to go and check those out, or it can be anything 50s to modern day, you know, requests that's going to work on an acoustic or an electric guitar within a reason. So the easiest way to put a request in is obviously comment below the video. Or if you want to find me a personal message over on those social media platforms, I suggest it at the start of the video. You're very welcome to. I just always point out that I do get quite a lot and I do have to sort of hemp it them a little bit. You know, some things work and some things don't. But don't let that put you off. Please do keep your requests coming. It's very much appreciated as it keeps this channel going. You know, so, you know, like I say, please do keep your loads of requests coming in. Another thing that keeps this channel going is everyone who's subscribed. I can't thank you enough. It means a lot to me. Now, if you are subscribed and you haven't done already, I'll quickly mention it again. 
Third way you could help me out is setting that little notification bell up somewhere down there so you get notified every time I post a video up and you can keep up to date. Uh, the patron thing, so to keep banging on about it, but the funding from patron, you know, really helps go towards these lessons, you know, pays for my time. These are very time consuming, you know, the filming, the editing, the research. So all the funding from patron basically helps me keep this channel going, you know, so it's very much appreciated. It gives you guys access to all the chords, lyrics and strumming patterns to a lot of the content that I put out there, you know, not just the songs, you know, a lot of technique stuff as well. And the stuff there on the archive, there's some exclusive videos that are up on YouTube. So uh, what you're waiting for, there's a link there in the comments, also a link in the description. Another way that you could help me out is uh, word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you dig what I do, please like and share my videos. Tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone, you know, plays guitar please put it in my direction, I really appreciate that. So that just leads me to say whatever time of day it is you're watching, maybe morning, day, night, thank you very much, and I'll catch you all for lesson very soon. Take care.